Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna try something that I believe it's really cool. If you ever wondered if it's possible to run the web browser from a Docker container, uh, then let me tell you that you can do such thing. And I found this container or this method to simply run Firefox on a Docker container. So many people like to do things from containers and such thing is quite good because containers are sometimes more secure than running the plain applications. So all you have to do here is to have Docker installed on your computer and configure it correctly. You can go to my video where I installed Docker on Mint if you are using a Debian based distribution. The installation on Mint or, or any other Debian based distribution is the same. Here the, doc, the docker container is from this uh, guy or this thing called GLE Sage or Sa Sage or something, I don't know. It's new also, it's updated 15 days ago. And then uh, the method is quite simple, all we have to do is to get or take that uh, command that we have over there, we copy it and then we print and paste it on our terminal and once, it, once we paste it it's going to do the job for us by uh, downloading the image and configuring everything we wait some time for it in my case I'm gonna pause the video so I'm gonna pause the video so it's gonna be faster for us, we can save some time, once it's ready I will be back to you, you can see it's downloading, downloading already, the biggest chunk is not there yet, you can see it's 130 megabytes, that's I believe the biggest one, ok now we're back and it's ready, we can check if it's running, you can see that it's running, it's 11 seconds ago, so it's new, so if we want to go to it, we simply go to the browser, to the local browser of the machine where the container was installed, and then type uh, localhost colon 5800, localhost colon 5800, and you can see you have a, a browser inside of a browser. We can go to google.com as you can see and it's working we can go to it again in this tab and you can see it working already it's fun right I, I really like this thing and it's really awesome and we have also another way to run it which is uh, by going to a remote machine if the and putting the IP address of the docker container not the docker container but the machine where the docker container is made and then a column 5800 you can see we have our container running on our remote machine it's working as you can see the same uh, tabs that we started I guess that's it thanks for watching see you